All right, what's up guys? Hope y'all are having a great day today because I think this is gonna be fun, okay? You know, there's been a lot of stuff surrounding Quantum TV going around on YouTube at this point. Review Tech USA has had a big like clash with them. Now the act man is getting involved and well, I thought I would share my experience with Quantum TV. Now this is actually dating back over a year ago. I think almost two years ago at this point, back to October of 2020. This is when I had my encounter with Quantum TV when I decided to make a YouTube video on him, which was recommended to me because basically he was like shitting on the Xbox for whatever reason, I don't really remember. If you want to go watch the video, I'll have it linked in the description. But anyway, there was some drama surrounding that video. Quantum TV was not too happy that I dared to question, you know, his God tier intellect and just point out how idiotic this dude really is. But he didn't really take too kindly. I wish I still had the video, but he uploaded a YouTube video basically threatening to copyright strike my video, which prompted me to go ahead and reach out to him privately and see what the issue was and figure out why he thinks he can abuse the YouTube copyright system illegally and take down a video that he was upset over. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and read through these emails and just kind of show you that Quantum TV for a very long time has been the way he's been. This is nothing new. The guy is a pathological liar and has one of the most fragile egos on this entire platform to the point where he has to lie and make up these false narratives in order to get what he wants because he just can't handle any form of criticism whatsoever about him on the internet. And I think this will demonstrate exactly what level he'll go to in order to try and get what he wants. So let's go ahead and read these emails. So I started off the conversation by saying, just letting you know, I don't appreciate being threatened with an illegal copyright takedown for a video that was clearly fair use with commentary added, but I have trimmed out the clips of your outro music from the video as a gesture of good faith. And I am just waiting for YouTube to process the change because if I remember correctly, again, I wish I had the video, but I think that's what he was trying to copyright strike me on, was using like whatever music he had as his YouTube outro in my video, which when it comes to copyrighted material, music is like by far the worst when it comes to YouTube because I've had about 10 to 15 videos blocked completely by Sony because I included like 20 seconds of sad Naruto music in them. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this music out so that way he doesn't really have a claim whatsoever. So that's the reason why I mentioned that. You can verify that this is my email address by checking the about section on my channel under the business email. Abusing the YouTube copyright system is only ever going to make you look worse regardless of what you feel I did to wrong you, so I hope the claim you made in your video that you intend to file a copyright takedown was not serious. To which he replied and says, you can't copy video URLs and rip them off YouTube. That violates YouTube TOS. No, it doesn't. You cannot monetize my outro video without any changes to the outro. I didn't give you permission to play my content. If you want to use my content, transform it in accordance to the Fair Use Act of 1976. This is a lawful copyright submission as you stole my URL and usurped my original content and market. This is not a threat. It is a notification. And I mean, this is where you can already start to see the trend of this motherfucker being a complete legal mental midget. He loves throwing around legal terminology to act like he's intelligent on a subject like any true red editor would. I mean, this guy is the definition of an armchair intellectual, but all I can say going into this is I was nothing but nice to this dude, and you'll see that coming up, but just wait, guys. It's about to get a hell of a lot better. So I replied and said, so what you were requesting is I remove the video, to which he replied and said, not at all. You got great views on that. I'm not the monster you think I am. Dude, just remove my outro, which keep in mind, I already said I did. The rest of the video is fair use, just not my original outro, as you let it play without any augmentations for commercial use. So keep in mind, this is the same man that says that someone who replies to his YouTube video is not fair use. Here he is literally admitting that my video responding to his video in its entirety is fair use. This motherfucker is completely incapable of being able to, as our boy Crap would put it, keep that same energy. So for anyone who's out there that has made a video on this guy and he claims that using his clips is not fair use, by his own admission, mission here, he admits that those videos are in fact fair use. And the only reality behind any copyright threat from Quantum TV is he's trying to intimidate you. I don't know, man. This is some pretty beta bitch behavior from a so-called self-proclaimed alpha male. So I replied to that and said, the trim of the video is processing as we speak. So I apologize for that and hope this settles any issue you might have with the video. Because you know what? Believe it or not, guys, I'm not a complete fucking prick 24-7. When it comes to like dealing with people privately or in real life, like I'm 
not an asshole, okay? I'm pretty nice about things, and I was trying to be nice in this situation because, you know what, I don't dislike anyone that I talk about for the most part when I make a YouTube video on them. You know, I'm not like Dreamcast guy and tell motherfuckers to go, please do me a gigantic favor and take a long walk off a short dock. But anyway, let's keep going here. As you can see in the attached image, YouTube is processing the changes as I'm typing this and I remove both clips from both the beginning and end of the video. Not that it means anything, I'm sure, but I don't view you as a monster or dislike you in any personal way. Well, maybe that kind of has changed since then. I just take the copyright system seriously given how frequently it has been abused by many before. Also a friendly tip moving forward, if you ever encounter a situation like this again, make sure you claim the video instead of striking it. You can earn money from the time it takes for the claim to be resolved, which is true. If somebody has like your copyrighted music in the video, just claim it. Don't strike it down. You can at least make some money from it. Anyway, let me know if this is to your satisfaction. To which he replies and says, well, I appreciate it. I'll submit a retraction. Like you, I'm just trying to preserve some integrity on YouTube, which is just completely rich from a guy that's illegally striking people's videos down because he can't handle a little bit of criticism. Like Quantum TV is once again the perfect example of an armchair intellectual. I too hate the system being being abused. I take it very seriously as I'm a bit of a stickler for following rules. Well, obviously not copyright law when it comes to following the rules. At any rate, thank you for working with me on this. I think we could have a more productive conversation and hope in the future you'll just talk to me if you have any questions or concerns. I'm not like other YouTubers. I respond to everyone. If you want to talk about something, just ask brother. Doors always open, which is him trying to basically say in one way or another, hey, don't make a video criticizing me again, you know, come talk to me first and we can have a discussion if we disagree on something. That's kind of what people do when they don't want you making videos on them. But anyway, I replied and said thank you and I will update you when YouTube has finished processing the trims. Made it the video if you would like. No clue on an ETA. They said it would take anywhere from 1 to 10 hours for it to take effect and knowing YouTube who even knows how long it'll take. Also, apologies for coming off as a massive dick in the video as well because once again, guys, I'm not trying to be a 100% 24-7 piece of shit on the internet, okay? When I make a video or do a live stream or whatever, you know, I kind of play into it a little bit, okay? Like, I think everybody fucking knows that on YouTube. I don't even know why I'm explaining it, but anyway, you get the point. I'm not, like, trying to fucking ruin this man's life at this point. For me, I love responding to videos and have a tendency to go a little bit overboard at times, but aside from that, I hope there are no hard feelings and wish you the best when it comes to your channel. I don't really take internet beef seriously and get a little caught up in it sometimes. This was a very productive conversation, and I'm glad we could come to a mutual understanding. Or so I fucking thought, because shit is about to go downhill as you all are about to see. So he replies and says, it's all good, man. Just talk to me first in the future. Again, don't make a video on me. Talk to me first. I've still got hundreds of your fans damaging my other videos from just this one upload. That really hurts my community. I understand being passionate about things, but try to think before you throw channels under the bus. I'll be dealing with backlash from this video for weeks. Sad emoji. And then I replied and said, apologies for that. And just so you know, I have no plans of doing a response to the video you uploaded tonight because because he uploaded a video talking shit about me, which he doesn't want my fans coming to his channel, but you know, he'll make a video with my name in the title and try to call me out on it, which is literally going to bring more fans of mine to his channel. But anyway, I have been bombarded with requests to do so, but I'm just going to let the drama fizzle out, which is typically what I do. So it doesn't prolong it on your end. Luckily, most people have a short attention span on YouTube. And in my experience, you may have some comments for a week or two at most, but nothing like the initial burst you got today. Load that video you made on me tonight with ads and at least milk it for what it's worth, man. Hope everything works out for you. Anyway, have a good one, dude, and feel free to reach out whenever. So again, I'm just trying to be nice to this motherfucker. I'm like, you know what? Call me out. I don't give a fuck. Get some money and we'll call it even. You know what? Let's just move on from this entire situation because it's completely stupid to begin with. But this is far from the end, guys, because it goes on just a little bit further. And I said, just got the confirmation the video has been successfully trimmed and no longer contains the clips of the outro. To which he replies and says, much appreciated. Same Amaya. No fault video needed. If you ever want to talk gaming, just let me know. Wouldn't mind collaborating on a debate or something like that to clear the air at any rate. Thanks for taking a different approach and reaching a resolution. Good luck in this ruthless YouTube grind. So that was the end of that conversation. You know, I thought we had reached a mutual agreement and you'll notice the date on those messages was October 28th, like early in the morning. So the night the video came out, this issue was resolved, you know, crisis averted, everybody walked away 
way happy, or so I thought. Because less than two days later, Quantum TV sends me another email saying, listen man, your video's doing way more harm to my life than just criticizing my channel. Which, no, it actually didn't. That's exactly what my video did. And I don't think you intended for it to get out of hand like this. I am now receiving serious death threats and racial slurs. Well, I get you have a channel to run, you've created a video that promoted real world hatred, which this is completely fucking rich coming from Quantum TV because he literally had a YouTube channel banned from the platform prior to this current one he's on, which he's technically ban evading, by the way, which he claims to be a stickler for the rules in YouTube TOS, which again is pretty funny considering that ban evading is against YouTube TOS, but he's going to preach and be, you know, holier than thou when it comes to following rules. But his previous channel, Quantum Apotheosis, literally got banned from YouTube for promoting real world hatred. And there's plenty of examples online. Review Tech USA did some great videos covering exactly what this motherfucker has said. You know, to sum it up, this guy is not a very big fan of people that put the gay in gaming, let's call it. And he literally went as far as to wish that more people died in a mass shooting because of their sexual orientation. Like, this guy is completely unhinged. So I find it beyond ironic that he's gonna call me out for promoting real world hatred when, first off, my videos have never done that in any way, shape, or form. And he's literally more guilty of that than almost anyone else on YouTube at this point. So that is completely ironic coming from this guy of all people. Well, I get you have a channel to run. You've created a video that promoted real world hatred. Xbox gamers are taking it way too far and way too serious. Will you remove that video and make something else and wash clean of this? This is getting out of hand. I have a family to protect. You know what, man? Those damn Xbox gamers throwing around their racial slurs, attacking people's family. Like, come on, man. Do better buy a PlayStation instead. But anyway, I replied to that saying, I wouldn't place much weight behind comments, dude. Keyboard warriors are not to be taken seriously. I think it's a very unfair claim to make that my video is promoting real world hatred when it literally never involved anything beside the ideas presented in the video topic. Race was never even brought up in my video, so I'm not going to be held accountable for anything of that nature. I cannot control the people who watch my content, just as you can't control the people that watch yours. Your video you made on me is acting like a beacon for these type of comments. And like I said, I have no intention of responding, but the best course of action is to let it run its course and ignore it. So again, I'm trying to be nice in this situation, even though this motherfucker is literally trying to accuse me of like perpetuating racial hatred and condoning attacks on his family. But I don't know, man, this motherfucker is crazy, but it's about to get even more wild from here on out. He replied and said, your video labeled me a PlayStation 5 fanboy and their enemy. It mobilized thousands of people into an angry mind. Mob. You say don't put weight behind it, yet they have my address, and worse yet, my child's information. I get that you want to keep it up for revenue, but you're making it worse as that video is a beacon for the hatred. I would delete my response in a heartbeat if you did the same. I just wanted to level with you about it. You may not want to be held accountable, but before you randomly attacked me, I wasn't getting these death threats. It's your doing, man. I'm just asking you to remove it to stop the chaos. Will you do that? Which this is where it's very interesting to compare this situation to the current situation Quantum TV is in right now because recently he's made the claim that since 2018 after he criticized LG OLEDs that he's been hacked, doxxed, harassed, been sent death threats non-stop for over four years. But in this email at the end of 2020, you can see that nothing bad had ever happened to him before until I made my video on him. He was living the perfect peaceful life up until this point until I dared to criticize his bad take on the Xbox Series X, which is really interesting because it shows you this guy is a pathological liar and will say whatever he can to make himself look better in the situation. So I went ahead and replied to his email and said the only reason I even found out about the video in the first place is because people were recommending it to me. And judging from the comments on the video before they were disabled, you were already being labeled that weeks before my video went up. Again, I'm sorry that you're being berated in the comments and I would never advocate for someone getting doxxed or harassed online, but I don't think it's fair to throw all the blame on me. Your video itself and many others before it, judging from the titles, were designed to get an adverse reaction from Xbox fanboys, and it did. Bigger channels have called me out before when I was a smaller channel defending the Spider-Man exclusivity back when I was a PlayStation fanboy, so I know exactly what is happening to you right now, and it's part of being on the 
platform and it will pass. I can add it to my pinned comment to please not go to your channel if you think that would help, but I think we both know those type of disclaimers or any request of that nature do very little to prevent things like this. So even with all these accusations and him literally calling me basically cyber Hitler at this point, I'm still trying to be helpful and not be a complete and total dick to this motherfucker, but he's willing to throw me under the bus completely and try to pin all of this on me when at the end of the day, his original video is what started this entire thing. He wanted negative attention on his channel and that's exactly what he got. So he replied and said, I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to report this video for cyber harassment then. They have my daughter's school, man. I won't take any chances with my family's safety. You really don't understand how serious these threats have gotten. I need this to go away and not inspire any more nut jobs. Under YouTube's harassment and cyber bullying policy, you're in violation of TOS due to prolonged name calling or malicious insults. I really don't want to go that route, but for my family's sake, I guess I have no other choice. To which I replied and said, if that's what you need to do, I can't stop you. Reporting the video is not going to change anything. It might only make things worse because if the video is struck down, I will need to respond and address the situation and explain. I don't know how we go from having an understanding last night and agreeing on a course of action where you specifically said you didn't want me to remove the video to now you're basically extorting me with the threat of a community guideline strike to remove the video. Sorry it had to come to this, but I guess it can't be helped. Very disappointing to say the least. Be careful moving forward about what information you make public online, especially if you're going to purposely antagonize people, and in particular console fanboys. <laughs> Lol, they aren't too <laughs> mentally stable. Wish you all the best regardless, and sorry things devolved to this point. I thought we had reached a position of mutual understanding, but I see now that is not going to happen. Again, I'm trying to be mature in this situation and not be a total prick, but anyway, he replies once again and says, I'm not extorting you. Simply put, I just started getting very serious death threats. Dude, you have no idea. They hacked my Facebook, PlayStation, and Xbox, and even got my home phone number. I don't know how they did any of this, but nothing they obtained was publicly available or linked to my YouTube in any way. This is serious, dude. Imagine if the roles were reversed and your family was being targeted. This has evolved way beyond a simple debate. I'm trying to update you on the situation. I am in no way trying to back you into a corner and extort you. My family has nothing to do with this, and now they're being dragged into the crosshairs over a video game machine, which I thought it was the LG fanboys that hacked him back in 2018, which is what he claims nowadays, so this is kind of interesting. But I replied and said, you have to understand how outlandish it sounds that every single social media account you possess has been hacked with the exception of YouTube. Me deleting the video is not going to accomplish anything at this point, if that's true, and if anything, it's only going to embolden those doing it to you, which I'm trying to explain. I really can't take it any other way except you're just trying to remove my video because you don't like it, because even now, you have a video calling me out on your channel, which is just making exactly what you're describing now infinitely worse. You are literally giving them a reason to remain on your channel, and how am I supposed to take these claims from you seriously when you won't even go out of your way to distance yourself from this drama, which that's exactly what was happening here. This dude is just an attention whore, but the second that he doesn't get the attention he wants, or you know, he doesn't like what people are saying about him, he throws a fit and demands the video gets taken down, but he replies once again and says, I don't care about the video. Complete and total bullshit. Look up Quantum TV. Other YouTubers have videos about me. It's not about the video at all. Can you at least make a video telling them to chill out? I get how it looks, but I have no way of providing proof without exposing my family's info, which if it's already out there, then it wouldn't be exposing it. But anyway, I replied and said, I already adjusted the pinned comment several hours ago upon hearing what you told me, and I'm willing to make a community post telling people not to harass you. Trust me, I want to believe you, but I have been down this route before several times. Is that fair? So once again, I'm trying to do the right thing here, trying to be nice. You know, if there is some validity to this, I'm trying to like take some steps to help him out here because once again, not a total prick, but he says, dude, I'm not tricking you. I'm just in a dangerous situation. I get you've been down this road, but read our prior correspondence. Why would I randomly care about the video with this level of urgency? Because you thought the shitty little response video you did on me would completely expose me and get people on your side. And when you saw that it wasn't really working out that way, you resorted to different measures. I mean, you wouldn't have threatened to take down my video in the first place if you didn't care about the video I made on you at all. Like, that's the entire thing here. Like, from the very beginning, this video pissed you off and you were just looking for any reason to try and get me to take it down because you cannot stand the idea that anyone has anything negative to say about you online. So this is where it starts to line up with the current situation as well. I'm being hacked and threatened. That's the only reason I'm requesting 
disgustingness of you, you gotta understand, I'm getting droves of angry fanatics, and in that bunch are some real psychos, you included. I never in a million years would have believed this was a thing. I don't have any reason to lie, which right here is already a lie because he claimed that he went through the same thing back in 2018 with LG fanboys, so he's acting like two years later, according to him, this is completely new to him. So, case in point, Quantum TV is a pathological fucking liar. Then I reply and say, so will making the community post make things right between us, telling people to chill out and not harass you? To which he replies and says, they're your fans, man. You tell me. I'm at a major loss here because all he wants me to do is delete the video because he can't stand the idea of it being up on the internet. So then I further reply and say, honestly, at this point, most of my subs have probably already moved on, but I'm willing to do it just in case it does help. So I will put one out. I'm not trying to come off as a dick, but these things are really beyond me if they ever escalate to this point. And there is very little anyone can do about it because the type of people that take things to those levels do not care what anyone thinks or says. Like I said, the drama on my end is dead and I'm not going out of my way to mention it again. So hopefully this post will help give some closure. Again, I'm sorry this happened and I wish people wouldn't take stuff this far. And then I posted a screenshot of the community post that I made and said, hopefully this will help. Give it a week and this will pass. Just be careful because there are people out there that will take an opportunity like this to double down and keep attacking you. Have a good one, dude. So again, despite what this guy has accused me of, at every single opportunity, I've been nothing but nice to him. I've tried to do what's right. I've tried to help him out. I've tried to make amends. I have tried to make the situation better for him. But the only thing he's satisfied by is the idea of me deleting the video. So he replies once again and says, listen, I understand you may be done with the situation, but I appreciate the gesture. As proof I'm not lying and just want the video removed, I'll remove my video response. It's not about views or to trick you. That video of yours really caused a lot of trouble for me. In the future, try and understand how big you truly are. You can mobilize unimaginable numbers of people, even towards things you don't intend on. People are very impressionable, and you have to be aware of what a message from someone as large as you can do. Remember my situation going forward. Crazy people exist. I'm just trying to protect my girls. So hope you understand this is not done out of ill will. So right here, this guy's once again like making the threat. Yeah, I'm going to strike down your video using the community guideline system, which didn't happen, by the way. But anyway, you know, it's just really funny. He's acting like this was the message of my video. At no point in my video did I say, go harass this guy or whatever. Like, I never even fucking do that. I never would encourage that because then I would get banned from YouTube. That actually is harassment, and that would result in my channel getting terminated or my video getting removed. But you know what? What can I even say at this point? Like, I have done everything to be nice to this guy, and he's just desperate for me to take the video down, and that's all that matters to him. So I replied for the final time and said, I will keep it in mind. And just some words of wisdom in return. Prepare for any video you upload to gain negative attention because it could happen at any time. Getting called out is not an if, but when on YouTube. And no matter who does it, the side effects of that will follow. Happened to me around 15k subs. Hope things get better from here on out, but also please don't delete the video for my sake. I don't want you to think that I have some motive to get your video taken down because I would never ask anyone to do that no matter what they might have to say about me. Call it a principle, but anyway, have a good night, dude. Which is true. I don't really threaten people to have the videos that they make about me taken down. You know what? It's whatever. It's part of being on this website. So then he replied to me two more times. At this point, I was done. I didn't bother replying to him after that. But he says, the video has already been deleted as a show of good faith. I know I can make those views again easily. If I can, I'm sure removing one video won't kill you either. Food for thought. It stops being cool when innocent people get caught in the crossfire. I mean, obviously you didn't care about when gay people got shot in a mass shooting, but you know what? We're getting messy here. Let's keep it to the emails. Just get <laughs> what I said some thought. I would have asked that of you if you weren't serious. So this is where I take my leave. Enjoy the rest of your evening, which this is not where he took his leave because the next morning he replied once again, updated immediately after your post, I started getting understanding from some of your community. That community tab post is helping a bit. That said, I'm still getting links to your roast video saying Griffin ended you. So while the community post <laughs> definitely helped, the video is still not dying down. Here's a little proof. The most most recent trolls are as early as three minutes ago. My inbox is still blowing up with hatred and they link your video as the cause. That's why I asked you to remove it. As long as it's up, I'm still fighting an uphill battle. This is the best I can do to show you I'm not lying about the harassment without putting my family out there. Just letting you know again, it wasn't some trick. And this is the proof that he provides, bro. Griffin ended you. Your logic is trash. Log off, buddy. Oh my god, guys. The hatred the vitriol. I don't know how the fuck this dude's even still on the internet to this day, man. If I got comments like this, I think I might as well just delete my entire YouTube
YouTube channel. But that was my interaction with Quantum TV. And I wanted to share it because I feel like it adds a lot of perspective to the current situation surrounding him. And you can just see what an absolute pathological liar this guy is. He's always the victim. He's always coming up with these bullshit narratives to make himself look innocent in the situation. You know, prior to me making the video on him, he had never been hacked. But now he's saying that he got hacked back in 2018 by LG fanboys. He had never experienced negativity. You know, everything in the world was just perfect for him. But now all of a sudden he's singing to a different tune. So it just is really funny, like with the whole Act Man situation now, the Review Tech USA situation, the situation with Mischief. Like this guy literally admitted that videos responding to his videos are literally fair use, even if his entire video is in that video response. So that's what I mean. The guy is a pathological liar, absolute fucking mental midget, <laughs> armchair intellectual, whatever you want to call him. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I do want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. You guys are the fucking best and I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time.